Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Blue Ridge Silverhound. I'm your host, Sean. Thank you for taking time out of your day to come check out the latest news in coins and currency. And uh, today, today we have a really good uh, episode here for you in which we're going to talk about uh, a coin that is so, so undeniably close to being one of the most perfect graded coins that you could think of. Uh, and we're going to get to that here in a moment. It's, it's one that you're surely not going to want to miss. But as always, I have to throw in my little thing in here regarding subscription. If you haven't subscribed and this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all of the latest news and content on coins and currency and uh, some of the biggest breaking news that you could possibly ever see and find on the internet regarding new varieties and new discoveries. So, uh, oh, and in addition, hit the bell for instant notifications uh, in which you will receive those pop-ups on your smartphone device or tablet as soon as a new upload has been done by Blue Ridge Silverhound. Um, importantly, for this summer, I'm going to be hosting a, um, a selection, a bevy of various giveaways to give back to the subscriber community and to the patrons, the loyal patrons who watch my videos diligently every day i want to thank everyone for all the support and all the views through eight strong years um in a way this is kind of like a kickoff to a hundred thousand subscribers we are oh so close so if you uh do me a huge solid hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so let's go ahead and get started all right and of course uh like like any other blue ridge silverhound video uh we roll big and in this case the 1995 doubled die Lincoln cent is a coin that even though we're over 20 years removed from what was at the time a fever pitch of excitement as you know people left and right were going to the bank pulling out rolls and bags of brilliant uncirculated 1995 Lincoln cents in the hopes of finding some of these wild and crazy and dramatic doubled dies. The 1995 will live on in infamy as being the coin that did ju jumpstart the coin collecting community, um, you know, just out of nowhere. Uh, this coin was even featured on the news. Uh, it was either Fox or NBC News that did a little puff piece on the 1995 doubled to die Lincoln cent. Um, in which it became a mass hysteria to find lots of examples. Um, I distinctly remember these coins were selling for a few, two or three hundred dollars uh, a pop um, in the secondary market. Uh, I mean, there wasn't any eBay or anything like that at the time, but you can imagine there were uh, uh, companies and retailers and coin shops that were selling these uh, for a good sum of money. So it was kind of a big deal, and again, it was, you know, it was a precursor to the state quarter program in which that kicked off a whole new revolution of new coin collectors, okay? Call it the millennial coin age of collecting. Um, it, it was phenomenal, okay? But here we are, over 20 years later, and the coin has aged really well, okay? So much so that a number of them have been graded. Many thousands of these were graded by both PCGS and NGC over the years. Uh, that in a way, some of the nicer graded coins like in your Mint State 66 and Mint State 67s can be had for around $50 or so. It's, it's that affordable. Um, however, there's been a string of various higher grades than that, okay? Mint State 69 is the top grade in the 1995 double die that is out there and one just sold on heritage auctions um as a matter of fact on june 7th of 2019 to the tune of three thousand eight hundred and fifty three dollars and twenty cents um the pcgs price guide for a 69 is six thousand dollars so pcgs hasn't updated their pricing schematic on their price guide but again it's used mostly as a baseline not a determination of real, you know, world value um, as it sits today. So this one sold for thirty-eight fifty-three, and um, the big question that is on my mind, and after we're done with this video, is gonna kind of like inject a little bit of thought 
and to your mind says, when is the first Mint State 70 going to arrive on the scene, on the marketplace, in a registry? Keep in mind, in a Mint State 69, there are 10 examples graded at that level, okay? In terms of the grading world and, you know, everything around it, 10, it's not a lot. At the same time, we're getting to a point where that, that tipping point in which there's just enough pieces in the marketplace to fulfill a lot of the demands of the top tier registry set collectors. Uh, typically, your regular collector is not going to buy a coin of this caliber um, unless they really want it. Okay, most people will, you know, suit themselves well just to pick up a 66 or a 67 grade, or in some cases a 68. Okay, 68 sells just over a hundred dollars, so even that is an affordable coin. But to kind of give you an idea, in 67 there were over 2,600 pieces graded at that grade level. So it's very plentiful. There's tons of it to go around in the marketplace if you wanted one of that type. There are zero in 70. It is, the, the clock is counting down before the first Mint State 70 example hits the scene, all right? And speculatively, how much are we gonna be talking about here? It's easily going to be a $10,000 coin. It's gonna be well in excess of that. Um, just because of the cachet, what the, you know, the, just the status symbol of what this coin meant at the time of release, all right? It, even to this day, people get excited to find one in change, whether it's, you know, a low-grade one, a high-grade one, you know, it really doesn't matter. People still get excited at the discovery of one of these 1995 double-die obverses. So, in a 70... I would speculate probably ten thousand dollars, more in the neighborhood of maybe twelve five to possibly twenty thousand dollars. That twenty thousand dollar mark just seems a little bit too kind of um, just over generous uh, for for the grade. Uh, but you know, if there's only one, and it's going to be one that a registry set will take and keep. Um, to gain more point status, that's going to be the one and someone's going to open up their fat old wallet to buy that one example. So that's the 1995 Philadelphia Double Die Offers. Okay, I also wanted to take a little time to discuss the 1995 D Double Die Offers. All right, as a, another potential kind of like hotspot in variety collecting. Okay, and this is a coin that as of just recently was selling pretty regularly over a thousand dollars in some of those medium grades like mint state 65 and so on uh the 95d uh, exhibits what i would say pretty strong doubling okay so we're going to see a few close-ups here in a moment of the coin uh but this is a coin that not a lot of people uh pay close attention to uh, because you know it I, I don't know there's just not as much press on this coin as there was on the philadelphia example so this coin right here is designated as Double Die Offers number one. Okay, it's a FS101 in the catalog for Cherry Picker's Guide. And um, one of the more recent examples sold on, uh, I believe, Great Collections, uh, March 2nd, 2014, for $822.50. Um, you know, and this one right here is a PCGS Mint State 64 Red. Okay, it's a nice kind of like medium example in the marketplace still a beautiful coin but nonetheless this is a coin that i see has a ton of potential um let's talk a little bit about the population levels of this particular coin there are 14 graded in min state 66 through pcgs okay and at a 66 level it has a price guide value of a thousand dollars there is one graded in Mint State 67, and that one has never made it out to the market, mind you, has a PCGS price guide value of $4,500. In contrast to the Philadelphia minted example, all right, there are less of these out there in some of the medium grades, okay? Imagine if more 67s come out to the market, or maybe that first 68. We're going to be talking about a 68 that's going to be worth as much as a Mint State 70 1995P double to die obverse. So, but, you know, in the grand scale of varieties in Lincoln Sense, this one is exponentially harder to find. 
uh, there was someone on one of the Facebook groups, um, a very well-known collector, okay, found a number of these in rolls. I would have to say maybe seven or eight of them, and she got them graded, and they all graded pretty nice, like 65, you know, 66. And um, it's that kind of cash that comes through the market that'll kind of shock the system a little bit. But it also goes to show everyone that these are discoverable still to this day whether you're coin roll hunting or you're going through um, BU rolls of Lincoln Sense. Which, by the way, for 1995D, you're not paying a huge premium, okay? It hasn't quite hit that scale yet. That might all change depending on how much some of the higher echelon coins of this type sell in the marketplace. But anyways, I wanted to draw your attention to these two coins as we wrap up the, the week, as we get into the weekend. You know, whatever you guys do, coin roll hunting, going to shows, um, doing some casual cherry picking online. Whatever you do, keep an eye out for these two coins. Um, the Mid-State 70 Bounty is going to be huge once it appears in the market. I would say it's a matter of when and not if. Um, because these coins are absolutely stunning and they grade high. Okay, they, they, they're clean. This is a clean coin to try and grade. So I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. I want to thank everyone again for all the views and support. Um, again, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for instant notifications. we got giveaways happening all summer long. You'll want to get in on that. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm happy to do it and give back to the community. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your evening, and uh, kick off the weekend in a big way. Take care.